Psalm 16. The seven verses beginning from verse 5. Psalm 16, 5 to 11. Now, by way of providing a brief introduction, we know that Psalm 16 is a Messianic psalm. The upper verses refer to us completely alone. But as from verse 5, it refers both to the Lord Jesus and us. And you know that the Bible teaches, now maybe you should see that for a while. The Bible teaches that Genesis chapter 1 by the help of the Holy Spirit we know that Genesis chapter 1 is not just a story of the old creation. It necessarily must be understood to cover the creation. But Genesis 1 is also a revelation of an ongoing work of God in recreation. Amen? Amen. So we see the old creation. And chapter 1 of Genesis is a summary of the entire Bible. As it sets forth clearly the events that we're transpiring here on earth as God moves creation in a recreation from one degree of development to another. But there's an important principle we learn from this chapter that I want to draw to our attention in relation to what we are about doing. In verses 11 and 12, we read, And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree, yielding fruit after its kind whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. Let's read verse 12 together. I want to go. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good. The genetic code of the divine nature is in the seed. The seed is the word of God. A sower went forth to sow. And the seed is the seed that is in himself. Let's notice that phrase there. Whose seed was in itself, verse 12. And the earth brought forth grass and help yielding seed after his kind and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was what in itself the seed of god is in christ in the beginning was the word the word was with god and the word was god so in lifting man from humanity to divinity he comes with the seed of himself to yield fruit after his kind Hallelujah. Amen. And so I went forth to sow. I said, the kingdom of heaven shall be like this. In the operations that belong to it. And so I went forth to sow. And then it says, in Luke 8, 11, the seed is what? The word of God. The living word carries the planted seed of the word of life in himself. So he was not carrying something in his hand, the seed was in himself. And as he spoke it forth, it will produce after Hallelujah. his kind. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's no other way for our development and shaping and bringing us to spheres beyond the heavens into the realm of the divine. But that 
He who was the word that became flesh is planting his word in our lives. Amen. 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 We must give place to what we can save ourselves. He saves us. And he saves us by his word. Amen. 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 It will produce fruit after his kind. It's a viable seed. The seed is the word of God. Luke 8, 11. So when we take up the, the revealed word of God and begin to proclaim it, it is that that seed will generate Amen. operations within our life that will transform us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Put no confidence yes. in the flesh. Put no confidence in self-efforts. Put your total confidence Hallelujah. in the instrument by which God can say, and without him was nothing made that was made. Hallelujah. Amen. The seed is God's word. It contains the life of God. It says, it gave great rejoicing and thanks to the Father on the Pondicetti occasion and said, except a corn of wheat die. Falling to the ground, die. It does what? Yeah. Abided alone. Now the corn is the kernel. The wheat is the grain. The grain never dies. But the kernel that carries it dies. And when we carry God's word, there must be death to the human mind Amen. for there to be a flourishing of the seed. Amen. But when it comes forth, it is the, 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 the working is are beyond our capacity to com comprehend. Hallelujah. Amen. God is planting his seed. The changes in our life are because of that seed. And we do more work in our lives. So as we take the scripture, we know that this is a window open to us to see how Christ walked upon the face of the earth. What the things we are that he said when he was in communion with the Father. It was a window opened. David the prophet, a man who loved God, says, a man after my heart. Had entrances into the realm of the spirit. Jesus said all of these words in the day of his flesh. Now, if you are to go back to Psalm 16, because we are about standing to proclaim it, you will discover that there's a growth in the communications that come from the mouth of Jesus Christ unto the Father. Of course, Luke records that he grew in wisdom and in stature. Amen? Amen. So these confessions broadened and deepened. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 16, read and understood in the light of Acts chapter 2. When, when these verses are quoted, that relate to aspects of him. We find there is a slight variation in words. The words in Acts be more confident than the words here. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. So we come to Psalm 16. We, because this is not the main body, we cannot go to Acts 2. But you read it, that line up the verses beginning from verse 8 to verse 11, which are quoted in Acts 2, and compare them. And you'll find that the words in Acts are more confident. Because as we, as we confess God's word, the meaning inside the word becomes manifest to us. Amen. So it will not just be a, a, an ordinary physical exercise, but submitting ourselves to the transformation that the word of God gives. Let us say amen. amen. So with this little introduction, let's stand up. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Are we ready? Yes. Beginning from verse 5. Let's take each verse three times. Yeah. Want to go? The Lord is the portion of my inheritance. Of my cup. Thou maintainest my loss. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance. And of my cup, 
Thou Lord, maintainest my Lord. Jehovah, the self-existent God, thou art the portion of my life and my cup. Thou maintainest my Lord. And we say, Amen. Back to verse 5. Capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. The Lord himself, the self-existent God, he doesn't breathe to live. He doesn't eat to live. He breathes out and gives life to all creation. The self-existent God is my portion. Woo! Glory. As the Father has life in himself, so has he given the Son to have life in himself. And as we eat of this precious food, we ourselves will be turned to that. Amen. Who is the portion of your inheritance? The Lord. <laughs> Not another, but the Lord himself is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my Lord. You guard this inheritance that you have given me and make sure it suffers no damage. Amen. You maintain me in this path. Glory! Hi. Sometimes I wish I knew this when I was 15. I would be walking without my feet on the ground. But I thank God, glory, that the springs of life are in Him. It is in Him we live. In Him we move. In Him we express ourselves. Glory! Yes. Are you ready? Yes. As you, we are not meditating on it yet. Sunday morning we'll meditate a little bit on it yes. to open the, the vistas of life that are communicated to us here. What a confidence speaking. It is what you speak that changes you yes. or that brings you down. Eh? I think you remember that, that scripture in Proverbs? Huh? And Jesus also said it. Is that not so? Glory. Whatever a man desires, the fruit of his lips will give it to him. Either of life and of death. Now, let's say this one. <laughs> you know why that thing is in bracket? It's not supposed to be there. It is in italics. The Lord! The portion of my inheritance and of my cup, thou maintainest my Lord. Glory. Amen. The, the, the job is, hey, I've come to see that you are my portion. Amen. I'll be a fool to give all that up. We sang. Amen. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. Are you ready? Amen. Huh. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Glory. Okay. But let's put the east eh? so it doesn't jam. <laughs> Want to go? The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my Lord. Two more times. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my Lord. One more time. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and my cup. Thou maintainest my Lord. Verse 16. Three more times. We are not going to stop. The land are falling unto me in pleasant places. Yea. I have a good stop. You see, you see, I say we wouldn't stop. You know, you know, but sometimes as you declare this, there's no say, say uh, uh, um, this is the year of my destiny. There's no year of your destiny. There's the year of the Lord's destiny that never ends. Amen. Say, this is the thing that flow in my family lineage. No. The lines that are coming to you do not tell you that. The lines are falling onto you. In pleasant places. Yea, 
I have a goodly heritage. Nothing can change that. Nothing can change that. I'm structured from Jesus as my beginning. Is the offspring that upholds me. Stressed by history beyond Jesus, you see nothing. I'm a new species. It's the root that bears me up. I'm not going to leave somebody's destiny. Hey, what I wrote down before the world was, I want to become. No, I want to become like God. Amen. That's my destiny. Amen. And the lines indicating what God has given to me has fallen unto me where? In pleasant place. Yay! That is a shout. Yay! When you come to that shout of yay, you will shout it. Yay! I have a goodly heritage. Amen. Are you ready? Yeah. Three times, but we will not, we will not, we will not stop again. We we'll just, <laughs> just continue that three, 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 because there is much food to be served. Hallelujah. It's a feasting day. Amen. 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 All right. Want to go? The light are falling unto me in pleasant places. Yeah. I have a goodly heritage. The lines are falling onto me in pleasant places. Yay, I have a goodly heritage. The lines are falling onto me in pleasant places. Yay, I have a goodly heritage. Verse 7. I will bless the Lord who has given me cancer. My, my rain shall enforce the toward me in nine seasons. Again, I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My rain also struck me in the ninth season. One more time, I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My rain also struck me in the ninth season. Verse 8. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he's at my right hand, I shall not decay. Hallelujah. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he's at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Amen. Amen. I will be, I'm tempted. And this good temptation. I will just say it in a slightly expanded form. That Lord has said to me, come be my equal. And you have told me to set this as a target always before me. And that you are at my right hand to make good the words that you have given me to speak. Amen. And because you are at my right hand, I shall not fall decayed. I shall be upheld in life. I shall be upheld in life. I shall not fall decayed. Maybe we should say it one more time. Yes. Now that you know the meaning, nothing in you will decay. Yes. Suppose, yes. suppose menopause have set in. Forget it. Say forget it. Forget it. The logos has power not only to transform you and give you children of your own, more than that, more than that. That, logos, that logos, in the finished product, the finished product will make you a special, make exactly, like Jesus. exactly like Jesus, coming forth in his image and likeness. Oh, Amen. 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 Do you like yourself that you are in such a place? Hallelujah. Whose word will you speak, your own or Jesus' words? Jesus. And that is what we call priesthood. Amen. Speaking the words he gives you to speak. And saying forever, Lord, you are mine. The two components of true priestly ministry. We shall eat that food tomorrow. Amen. Oh, why, why am I interrupting? I have said the Lord always before. <laughs> I see the standard. Oh, okay. Time is flying. Okay, verse 9. Let's move. Let's move. Verse 9. Verse 9. Therefore, my heart is glad. And my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. Amen. Amen. Two more times. Therefore, my heart is glad. 
Thy glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. One more time. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. And we say, Amen. Verse 10. <laughs> For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither will I suffer the Holy One to see corruption. Again, for thou will not leave my soul in hell, neither will thou suffer the Holy One to see corruption. One more time. For thou will not leave my soul in hell, neither will thou suffer the Holy One to see corruption. And we say, Amen. The very last verse, want to go. Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. And the writer, there are pleasures forevermore. Two more times. Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. And the right hand, the pleasures forevermore. One more time. Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. And the right hand of pleasures forevermore. Jesus started saying it like this, like this. At some point, he began to say, You have shown me the path of life. You have shown me. I desired you for it. And you showed it unto me. May we grow in the knowledge and participation in declaring these words. But there are more passages like this. As you discover them, say them out. Amen. 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 Lord, we thank you. Set a seal upon our utterances. Because the words came from you, they cannot return to you void. They carry us with them as trophies, as, as products, things are accruing to you because you are giving these words for us to say. We thank you. Bless us further as we meditate in your word. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. There are three keys that the Lord has revealed to us respecting the journey of life. Three keys that make possible for us to follow the Lamb productively with us wherever He goes and to arrive are the fullness of his image and likeness. These three keys we will take up in an introduction. First key, the personal Lord Jesus Christ in glory is the key. Of course, you've heard me say this over and over again, but this is the first key. The Lord Jesus Christ, the personal Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is not an idea, he's a person. Yeah. A glorified being. He sits on the throne. Hallelujah! Amen. An expression of that reality is that the preceding word will always be available to the church. Because of the personal Lord in glory, the prophetic word will not cease. Amen. So the first key is the Lord Jesus Christ. The personal Lord Jesus Christ. Out there in glory. And because of him, the prophetic word shall always flow. Amen? Amen. That's the first key. The second key is the spirit of of the glorified Christ that indwells us. Amen. Amen. The spirit of the glorified Christ is in us. He indwells us. Amen. Amen. That's the second key. All our changes will come from him. And every seed 
is brought forth by him. Amen? Amen. The fact of the indwelling Christ, the spirit of the glorified Christ. Jesus speaks, and when he ends, I say, He that had an ear, what should happen? Let him hear what the Spirit said to the churches. Amen? So, the indwelling Christ, the Spirit of the glorified, and, and having been by the right hand of the Father glorified, he has set forth his Spirit, we should both see and hear. The Holy Spirit in us is a proof forever that Jesus Christ rose from the dead and is in glory. Amen? Amen. Christ in you, what happens? Glory. Of glory. That's the second key. Don't look around. Don't play religion. You just pass through the church, uh, through uh, the altar, you buy, buy that, you <laughs> say the name of the Father, of the Son. All your changes yes. will come from within you. Anything you desire. But if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the if me sins. Since the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised Christ from the dead shall also what? Hallelujah. Everything that is susceptible to damage can be targeted by the Spirit of God and quickened within you. Amen. If needs be a new heart, Amen. if needs be a new lungs, Amen. if needs be a new kidney. Amen. But when he does that, he's still on his way, doing more work Amen. until he has completely altered you. Amen. So that the divine nature plus the divine body equals divine life. Hallelujah. All your changes will take place from within you. Amen. 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 That's the second key. And these two keys are not dependent upon you. There's a personal Lord Jesus Christ in glory. You can't do anything about it. For you who are saved, and I think everyone here is saved, called holy by God, if a child, and at the, at the due time God will open the children's heart to the salvation that is in them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. You can't change that. You may not open up to him but he is there. Hallelujah. Amen. You can't change that. But the third key is dependent on you. The third key is the last lifestyle. The obedient lifestyle that Jesus counsels his children to take on the obedient lifestyle that Jesus Christ counsels his children to take on they make possible for us to enjoy the first two keys one word used to summarize that is consecration and that's what we'll be looking at how, what, how do we live our lives so that we can profit from the personal Lord Jesus Christ in glory who makes his prophetic word available to us as individuals and to the corporate gathering, the collective gathering, the local church in a given place. What is that lifestyle that Jesus counsels? It is counseling us as was captured in the words that that publicized the meeting say gather together my saints unto me those that have made what covenant with me by what sacrifice the covenant of sacrifice is an old testament description of an obedient lifestyle that it, that is called consecration so how do we sustain this thing and how do we sustain a life of walking in the spirit because on Wednesday we, we meditated on walking in the spirit that is relating to the agency that gives us life 
in obedient communion and submission. And we say by being continually minded of life in the spirit. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Because yeah. the agency of our change, that is the tree of life. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has done what? Me. Made me free from the law of sin and death. I don't travel that road. I cannot deteriorate. I cannot decay. I don't travel on the road of the law of sin and death. Therefore, I cannot decay. I'm a babe. So it pleases the Father to reveal himself to me. He has hidden this thing from the wise and prudent and made them known to babe. Babes are subject of total care of their parents. Is that not so? And if I make a mistake, I'm a babe. I do not belong to the law of sin and death. Because you have done this, this will happen. No. But he makes all things to work together for me. Because I love him. Hallelujah. I do what I want to do all the time. And I find myself doing righteousness. Why? I received it of him. Full of power. Amen. Amen. Like I said uh, on Wednesday, a child with stained the pooped and the was even playing with it. And then the daddy comes, he hears the voice, and he's just crawling to meet the father. Eh? The father may just take, uh, uh, if, he, if he's not a young 16 year old father, like Americans who marry very early, <laughs> they say, hey, honey, come and take your baby. I've told you before that when the baby poo pooed, you should always say, say what, are you, what do you mean? How am I to know that he poo pooed? And there's argument that says it's in here, but a real one that has grown. <laughs> yeah? If he's still in the early 20s, you hold the baby like this and take him to the bath. So watch it. But if it's somebody like Brother Archie, he carry the baby like this. <laughs> but suppose it's white and white. It doesn't matter. And the bleach will bleach it off. Hallelujah. But even if it is not, consider our God. You don't go to him because you are afraid to change. When you go to him the way you are, he takes you up. But he will not leave you the way you are. Your stains will not stain him. But his righteousness will transform you. Amen. Glory! Amen. So, I'm completely free to draw nigh unto him. Amen. Father, we have confidence by the blood of Jesus to come into the place where you are. To come into the praise where you are. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.